Hello and welcome to a LEGO Mock Showcase video. This is Tencent from the old TV series, Tugs. So at the time of recording, it would be about a month ago where I kind of rediscovered Tugs and I fell in love with it straight away. I remember seeing a few episodes from the past and, um, kind of, you know, it was something that kind of came and went, but getting into it properly, again, I just fell in love with it and I thought, you know what, I need to make some Tugs characters. I've done a lot of train stuff and that can go on hold, and if there was anyone I was going to make, it would have to be Ten Cents. Well, and Billy Shoe Pack, but that's another video. So the hull is only three bricks tall. It was previously six bricks, and that was to get a nice propeller detail at the back, but it wasn't necessary because whilst this is on the ground, you're not going to really see that anyway. I mean, this sort of thing would only be underwater anyway, so it's not going to really be justified to be able to add all those extra bricks to this model knowing that um, it's just unnecessary so I've been able to kind of take off a lot of bricks and potentially save myself one or two brick link orders as well as save some parts for another character builder in the future. Now I don't know boats I do train stuff and but having seen the TV series Tugs there are these sort of bumpers I suppose around the side and the front and I think one on the back as well of the hull and these are, well, on my model, at least, they are um, decorated as white bricks. But I believe in real life and in the series as well, they are supposed to be kind of surrounded in just like a big bulk of rope, I suppose, to act as, again, what I would only call bumpers. And I do like that as a detail because it does make a lot of sense. And again, the representation I've been able to do here is by using these white bricks. I wasn't too adventurous. I kind of wanted to make this as quick as possible. And as I was going through my white box, I thought, yeah, let's just use these. And speaking of, that bottom white line goes all the way around the hull of this character build. And that is white trim line tape, which is why I've been able to get this done at the front as well. You couldn't do that brick built. Well, you probably could, but it'll be very difficult, I'd say. I've been able to capture the main sort of body detail. I'm not too sure what you would call this again. I don't do boats. But there's plenty of doors there. We've got some windows and it also curves around at the front using some hinge bricks. It's not the smoothest curve ever, but for this size, I think it's actually quite appropriate. We do have the big stack, the flag, and the lifeboat here at the back as well, again, to represent all the details on the character. Now let's talk about the head, which I think is the most exciting piece. So all of the face details, i.e. the eyes and the mouth, were achieved with trimline tape. And knowing that the heads turn in the show, I have been able to attach a... It's not called a hinge piece, it's like a rotation brick? I, I can't remember what it's called. But it's a small 2x2 two two, uh, brick that allows you to rotate bricks that are on top and underneath it. So I've been able to hide that in there amongst all the tiles. And yeah, it can do a full turn. It is a really nice little detail. The blue pieces on top are supposed to represent 10 cents' hat. And yeah, just overall I think it turned out really well. The face I thought was going to be a nightmare. But with the combination of the slope bricks and tiles being used, it was actually surprisingly simple. And knowing how I can do this for the Ten Cents face, future Tugs characters that I'm going to make will be a lot easier to do as well. One thing I really wanted to do was show the YouTuber Unlucky Tug the model that I made of this before it went onto YouTube because, you know, I made it, was quite excited. And he was a big fan, and he especially liked how I used the Captain America shields to get the star on the side of the smokestack. So thank you, Tug, for your feedback. I'm glad you like this model. Hopefully you're watching this video. Very unlikely, but, you know, all the same. May as well give it a try. And that is it for this mock showcase video. Thank you all ever so much for watching. So I did tease earlier in this video that I have made another Tug's character, and I do want to make some more. Now, whilst trains are fun and all, I have been getting into doing other things with LEGO, and it's nice to just step away from the railway for a bit. Tug's characters are definitely going to be happening. I've got loads of Thomas characters, and I would love to do a display at a LEGO show in the future where it's like Thomas and Tugs. I reckon that would get a lot of attention. So yeah, we'll leave that for the future, but for now, thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.